Hey people, what's up? K Hart here. Today I'm gonna to take a look at some new and unique sound design tools that were sent over to me by EDM Prod. And if you haven't heard of them, they're a group of producers who create online content for coaching and courses to create electronic music. And they just sent over their newest creation, which they're calling Super Noms. And it's really, really cool. It's a bunch of like custom Ableton effect racks that they've built using all stock Ableton stuff. And they've mapped these to a single knob. So it's really, really easy to just turn these knobs either up or down and get some really cool and complex sound design things happening. So let's dive in and check some of these knobs out. So here you can see all of these super knobs come in a nice folder here. And like I said, there is a ton of them. I can keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I think there's actually over 120 of these, which is an insane amount of effect racks to just play around with. But I have this synth loop set up and a drum loop, and we're gonna try some of these out and see how these sound on top of these. So let's listen to the dry synth loop. So now let's start cranking some of these knobs. It's pretty, I like that. Like a Donald Duck vibe, it's cool too. Wow. Let's try golden sequence. Oh, I like that glitchy. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. I'd like to resample that and just add that back in, just add some variation to the original loop. That'd be really fun. And what's cool about these as well is they're not just on or off. There's also that middle ground too, so you can dial these into taste. Very sparkly. So one of the coolest parts about this is that you can actually pop this open and since these are all built with Ableton stock effects, you can see the entire chain of what is actually happening. And if you want to change any of the parameters on the individual effects themselves, you can do that. So let's check out a couple of these on a drum loop as well. Pretty cool. I see a lot of these being useful for like live performance, especially just because they're so easy. You just map this to like a MIDI knob and you're good to go. Keep your arrangement interesting. Really good for transitions too. So real quick, let's take a look at this track that I'm working on. It's kind of a future garage style track. And I've put some of these super knobs on some of the different channels and let's check out what they're doing. So let's just take a quick listen of how it sounds right now. So first thing that I wanted to add was something to make the piano stand out a little bit more. And it's just really, really plain. So I have this nice tails knob added on here. So let's just turn this up. And that just sounds so pretty. Next, let's come here to this pad and let's just listen to this pad by itself. It's cool, but it also feels like it's lacking some depth. So I have this knob on here. Let's turn this up. Really, really pretty. Just adding like kind of another dimension to it. Next, let's come to the bass. And I feel like the bass is kind of fading in the mix. So we have this one, the fattest knob ever. So let's turn that up and let's see what happens. So I get really, really crunchy. It goes somewhere in the middle here. Now that bass is really coming through. And then I'm also using some of these knobs just to create some interesting little movement in my arrangement. So we have this slow motion one. And you can see I have it automated here. So if we come to this, let's just listen to what this does to the drums. Just a little interesting bit there. And then same I have on the master track, I have two of these automated as well. 
So if we come here, it's just gonna create this really, really nice transition. Thank you again to EDM Prod for sponsoring this video. I don't like to promote anything on my channel that I would not use myself. I do think these are pretty cool. They're just super simple and super fun to use. So if you'd like to check them out for yourself, you can go to their website, edmprod.com. Link will also be in the description below. So until next time, take care.